As an overextended mom, it's easy to feel like we can't meet all the demands that are being put on us and to lose our confidence. And let's be real, sometimes the demands being put on us are unrealistic. And so it's no wonder that you might feel some self-doubt in what's going on. The great news is that you don't have to feel like that. Uh, confidence is an amazing feeling. It's an amazing way to be, to show up in the world as a confident woman. And it's also something that is a practice. You learn to be confident. It's not like people are just born confident. Well, maybe some people are, but for most of us, it's something that we have to work at every day. And so I've got some tips for you, some ideas and hacks that you can use to practice being confident, even when you're feeling at your worst. If you do these things, it's gonna to help to boost your confidence, which also boosts your self-esteem. So the first one is um, set goals that have action plans. When you have goals that have action plans that you are actively working towards, you're gonna to build your confidence, right? Every time you check that box, every time you take a step closer to achieving your goal, you're going to feel more confident. So ensure that you have goals and ensure that those goals have action plans and always be working towards them. Um, the next is to work out. Working out is amazing confidence booster, not just from the chemical reaction that you get that helps you feel so good, that serotonin release, but also because when you push your body, you know that you are doing something extra, that you're going above and beyond, and going above and beyond boosts confidence. And as you work out, as you get stronger, as you get more flexible, as you increase your cardio capacity, you start to have more confidence in your body and having confidence in your body helps you to have confidence in life. So take some time to work out. Whatever kind of workout is fun for you, right? It doesn't have to be something intense and crazy where your balls to the wall, like ready to puke at the end of the workout. That is, that doesn't, that's not something that you have to do. Yoga, Zumba, swimming, walking, jogging, whatever you're into, just do that. For me, I like to deadlift. Just pick something heavy up and put it down. <laughs> That is a great workout and it's a great confidence booster. Um, the next one, and I know this is tough for a lot of us, is to accept compliments. When someone gives you a compliment, simply accept it. Say thank you, internalize it. They didn't just say it to say it, they said it because they believe it and you should too. So accepting compliments will help you to feel more confident and it also makes the other person feel good. People like to compliment you. So it's a win-win. Someone feels great and you feel great. Uh, to be sure, one way or tip that I have for accepting compliments is when someone says something like, oh, I love that shirt or oh, you did a great job. You say, thank you and zip it. Just say thank you. There's no need to make an excuse for why you did a good job or how you got the shirt on sale or anything like that. Just say thank you. Um, the next way to feel confident or tip for feeling confident is to feel your feels. Feel your feelings, they're real. You are a human being and you have emotions and you deserve to have those emotions. They are part of what make you you. And a huge part of confidence is accepting how you feel and then acting on it, right? If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're afraid, if you're frustrated, if you're happy, if you're excited, if you're thrilled, those are all amazing feelings. Even though they don't feel good in the moment, all of those, um, they are what make us human. And a part of confidence is knowing that it's okay to feel your feels. So feel them. Don't stuff them down in a box. Don't ignore them. Give in to them. Understand them. You know, don't wallow in the negative feelings, but recognize and acknowledge them. It's okay to feel that way. Feel it and then move on. Accepting that you can feel all kinds of different ways will help to boost your confidence. Another tip, and this is a pretty big one, is to make no a regular part of your vocabulary. Confident women know that they can decline. Confidence comes from declining. Because here's the great news. When you say no to something, that is giving you space to say yes to something else. And if I say that in another way, every time you say yes to doing something, you are saying no to infinite other things. And it's not a great place to be, to be saying yes, 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 yes to things that don't matter deeply to you. Um, it is a great place to be saying no, 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 no to things that don't matter to you. So practice saying no. And every time you decline, every time you say no, you're going to actually feel your confidence boost, especially when you have goals with an action plan and you know that saying no is leading you closer to your goals. Saying no is allowing you to say yes to the things that matter. That is a serious confidence booster. 
And the last tip I have for you to help build confidence is to stop comparing. Stop comparing yourself to others. Comparison is a thief of joy. Stop doing it. If you look on social media and you see everyone's like beautiful pictures and their whole family is all together and dressed and clean and happy and having a great time and they're killing at the office and they're putting their promotions and all these things online and like that's awesome, but you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes for them. You have no idea what sacrifices they're making. You have no idea what mental state they're in. Um, and so there's no real way for you to make a proper comparison. Uh, so why do it at all? especially if it brings you down. Stop comparing yourself to others. Your journey is your own. Comparison is really just, it's useless in a lot of ways. Um, and worse than useless, it can be harmful. So stop comparing. Confident women are not comparing themselves to others. Um, if you need to compare, compare to yourself. What did you do today that made you better than what you did yesterday? How did you show up at that meeting or show up for your kids or show up for your husband today that was better than how you showed up yesterday. That's a healthy form of comparison. Compare yourself to you, right? Because at the end of the day, that's the only true full story you can know. And I'll give you a bonus tip that you knew this one was coming. Practice self-care. Confident women take care of themselves. They know that they deserve it. And it is a great way to boost confidence, not only because setting aside time for you helps you to feel like you deserve it and you're worth it and that boosts confidence, but also because it allows you to relax and recharge. It's hard to feel confident when you're feeling beat and worn down. So take a moment every day, like seriously, five to 10 minutes at a minimum every day to do something for yourself. And on a weekly bump basis and on a monthly basis, take more time, take a few hours if you can. There you have tips on how to be confident. I know that it can be so hard to be confident as a working mother who has all these demands going against her um, and so many people asking for so much for you from you, right? You've got the kids and the husband and the friends and the work. Uh, it's just everybody needs something. <laughs> and that can really creep into self-doubt because there's so much that folks expect from you. And yes, sometimes you rise to the occasion and no, sometimes you don't. It's okay either way, as long as you're doing your best and you should approach life confidently. I know that you want more for yourself because you're watching this video here. And that shows me that you care about yourself and your progress and what you're doing and, and who you're being in this world. And that's amazing. And just for that, you should be confident. And so here are the tips. Um, if you want to go to my blog, you can download this list of tips to keep them, I'd say like put them on your fridge or on your nightstand or hide them, not hide them, but like put them up in your office someplace so that you can look at them and remind yourself of the things you can do on a daily basis to help feel more confident. And then just get to it. If any of these sounded good to you, take some action, pick one and try it today. And if you know a mama who is suffering from a lack of confidence, share this with her. Let her know uh, the different tips that she can that she can exercise or the practices that she can exercise to help feel more confident. Thanks for tuning in.